guys hope everyone is doing well today um this is actually a clip i left these in the car <laughs> just forgot about these so i think i'll stick them in the clip at the beginning um so basically i've been on the car boot this morning um and you're about to see the other junk i bought um and i bought these three um don't ask me why because i can't give you an answer opera glasses kind of cool and um, these two look to be pretty much identical this one's in worse condition, more rubbed. Um, can you? Is it any bigger? Not sure. Anyway, I just thought they're kind of cool. For some reason, I seem to be on some sort of opera glasses buying, buying at the minute. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. But anyway, these were the cheapest I bought, but they're the cheapest quality as well. Um, I paid ten pounds for the three of these. And I'm pretty sure I paid like 18 for one and maybe a tenner for the other one. I think I paid 18, 10 pound and then 10 pound for three. So they're progressively getting cheaper as the car boot season gets on, which is always encouraging. Yeah, so basically three sets of uh, opera glasses. Nothing too special, but I wanted to show them. All right. Um, don't forget to watch the rest of the um, rest of the junk. Hi guys, hope everyone is doing really well today. i uh, just been back from the car boot, didn't get much, nothing special, but I got some bits, so let's get into it. So there'll be two car boots this afternoon. Um, so uh, yeah, I've got probably got enough junk to squeeze out another one. So went to three car boots this morning. When I got there, there was like nothing set up. It was freezing cold and I wore my brand new shoes. Um, like an idiot and got them dirty so it was an overall success really when you think about it anyway so the first thing i bought on the car boot this morning was this polar bear and this is for my buddy resto rob's wife because i think she's uh suffered enough from me now i think the ears are a little bit chipped but um so the lady was asking four pounds for it and I said, oh, it's a shame it's chipped, isn't it? And she said, is it? I said, yeah, it's, the ear's a bit chipped there. She said, oh, uh, two quid? I said, I'd do 150. She went, yeah, okay. So I bought that for 150 for Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Rob, Mrs. Uh, Resto. So hopefully she likes that. I'm sure you said polar bear, didn't you, buddy? So anyway, that'll be in the next parcel. Um, the next thing, this is for, uh, pro this is going to go in my, uh, in Jim's parcel. I paid 50p for this gym. It's got a dint, but I didn't see that gym because, um, I didn't really look. So that was 50p gym. Um, I bought this also for 50p. This is a Swedish Lindström, Lindström pliers, which are a Swedish brand. So they'll go in my Swedish plier, uh, sets um that was for jim the next lot was i bought this really kind of cool looking corkscrew with this other one i like these ones what flick out into into a corkscrew and then flick in again sometimes you can get them with several tools like a pen knife a file and general stuff but i kind of like the look of that so i bought that and this together this is a um a little whistle <laughs> Don't really work very well um but i chucked it in and this lamp rather cool looking lamp uh, for a bicycle and um, the guy was asking five for that so there's one two three four four items um and i gave the guy well, i'm sure there was something else maybe oh it was this as well it was this ruler so he had this ruler um and i gave him 10 pound for the five items so two pound two pound two pound i think that's my favorite two pound and this thing this is broken two pounds so ten pound the lot i just thought it was kind of nice i kind of like the color of that so ten pound the five i thought that was a pretty decent bid we got i got this spanner the only reason why i bought it because it said triumph on it no idea if it's worth buying or not i just bought it because it said triumph 50p so i picked that up we got this little letter opener, um, it says Steakhouse, London, 
That's the telephone number, 056, if you want to ring them up, see if they're still in business. I'm guessing this is from the, it was 50 pence, that's what I gave the lady. I like that lady. She's never expensive, so if I see anything on a stall, I always buy it, because I like the woman. She's a nice lady. So that was 50 pence. I don't know why I bought it. It's got, uh, somebody else picked it up in front, and I was waiting for them to put it down. So once they put it down, I bought it. Um, a little pair of scissors. Bit of a Swiss Army knife. And a letter opener kind of unusual having it that the having the letter opener but i thought that'd be quite good for my instagram pictures so 50p not going to complain and um, i bought this horseshoe i tried to give 50p i tried bloody hard but the woman made me pay a full pound and i said i'm not bloody made of money a pound's a lot of money to me love but she weren't having it i told i told her that i was invaliding on a state pension but she didn't believe it so I had to pay the full pound for that, but I don't know. I just thought it was kind of interesting. So, yeah, so they were all the items. Um, Kind of cool. Then we got the guess the price. Now, I've been after one of these for ages, and they're pretty expensive, the old, um, the old clippers. I mean, look how wide they go, and then click down. They work well. The Vice Grip Company, Irwin. So it's quite a modern one, but look at that made in the us of a and that is a pretty tasty looking vice grip i haven't got any use for it but that's not the reason why i buy things because if you if you thought that negative attitude you'd never buy anything would you so i bought this uh big big old vice grip this is the guest of price i had to pay whew, big money for this boy you know but you know you either spend big or you buy nothing and i just went big you know, so I spent my child's inheritance just on that alone. So, yeah, got some cool items in this haul. Um, I think my favourite is this little... Um, I just like the shape of it and I just like it. So, this is probably my favourite. Um, and then the vice script is probably number two. Put in the comments which is your favourite if you've got one. Hopefully, Resto Rob's wife likes the little um, polar bear. And um, how much do you think I paid... For the Vice Grip, USA made, 24R, Irwin, body clamp. How much do you think I paid? Welder's clamp. How much do you think I paid for that? All right. Thanks for watching if you've got this far. Much appreciated. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.